everybody. Welcome to your Talking Pittsburgh Headlines on this Wednesday, August 31st, 2022. I'm Jeremy Crosby. Let's take a look at the headlines at this midweek. Yeah, week is going by pretty fast and a gorgeous day out as well. Enjoy that weather while we have it. Fitchburg Police Department wants you to be aware of a, di- a dangerous incident reported to the Madison Police Department. This came in uh, last night and this is what it says involving a cord that was strung across Badger State Trail near the Verlo Underground, uh, Underround, uh, just north of the border. We have been in contact with our partners at the Madison Police Department regarding this investigation. Officers will be conducting extra patrol in the area. Cyclists and trail users are encouraged to remain alert to their surroundings and to report suspicious circumstances or behavior immediately. Anyone with information regarding this incident should contact the Madison Police Department or Madison Area Crime Stoppers. We'll pass on any other information we get from the police department here on TF. Let's talk about closures coming up here at City of Fitchburg. Labor Day is just around the corner and, well, we're going to be closed. Here's what it says in observance of Labor Day. The following buildings will be closed on Monday, September 5th. City Hall, Community Center, Senior Center, and the Library. Yes, we're all closed, but don't fret. We'll be reopening back up on Tuesday, September 6th for our normal business hours. So uh, we'll be uh, observing Labor Day here at the City of Fitchburg, but we'll be back for you on Tuesday. International Overdose Awareness Day. Safe Community is putting on an event here. Want to share some information? Just got this in. This will be uh, happening here on uh, August uh, 31st, tonight. Yes, you can stop by tonight from 5 to 6 p.m. Speakers uh, uh, will be on hand uh, at starting at 7 p.m. and they have a lot of activities going as well uh, so uh, come out uh, for a candlelight walk free pizza resource table and more on this international overdose awareness day uh, tonight uh, and yes if you got any questions you can contact the uh, safe communities or check their website for more information uh, on this shirt and t-shirts are available for purchase uh, for donation Uh, And they will uh, also have uh, other materials on hand for you tonight. So come on by and check it out uh, for this uh, community event at Ulbrick Park. I was trying to look forward to stretch there. Ulbrick Park there tonight uh, for International Overdose Awareness Day. Curbside brush pickup and yard waste collection. Uh, I want to get the schedule out to you as uh, we celebrate this last day of August. September 19th through the 23rd is our next collection for brush pickup. And then you can see the following dates there. You have also combined yard waste collection happening as well. Actual collection dates may depend on weather. Brush and yard waste will be picked up between Mondays and Saturdays, but not necessarily on your refuse collection day. To ensure pickup, please have your brush and yard waste at the curb by 6.30 a.m. the Monday of the collection, collection week. If you feel your brush was missed or have any questions regarding pickup, you can contact our picker upper, Pelletary 608-257-4285. Finally, uh, as we talk about back to school, a lot of kids are heading back to school this week. We want to make sure that you stay safe and your kiddos as well. We've got some bus safety tips here to tell you about. Stop 20 feet or more from any bus that stops on the street highway. And it's flashing warning lights are on. That's the red lights to stop. Yellow means that they will be stopping, so you should slow down. No matter what, make sure that you're very observant when it comes to the buses and watch out for this. Uh, Never pass a school bus that has flashing lights and stop arm extended. Slow down, obey school speed zones, and set aside distractions to be fully alert because kiddos can get distracted really easily. We know this, we want you to stay safe. And uh, yes, just give uh, the school buses plenty of room and you just gotta be extra careful with kiddos. Even if they get off the bus and the bus pulls away, you never know if the kid's gonna jump in the street. Gotta be safe with this. So please uh, take extra time and let's avoid catastrophe as we go back to school here. We wanna keep everybody safe. And finally, remember, you can stay connected with FACT TV. We got all the information for you here right on your screen. Of course, you can follow us on Facebook and YouTube where we post up the headlines and our guest segments. And you can always follow along with what's happening on our Gov channel or the Com channel online at pitchforkwi.gov. Have a great day, everybody.